Okay. Says I'm live, so get up here on YouTube and set up chat. I'm going to make you guys work today. That's a good thing. All right. Getting it set up. If you're watching on YouTube, just scrub forward until something starts happening. Should be shortly. Yep, yep, yep. And I guess I should look through these and see. I pulled out all my scavenger hunt books. Ugh. Um, hi Dorothy, hi Dee Dee. Um, because I'm gonna make you guys work today. Might as well. Just organize this stuff here. All right, there we go. Hey Shaz, you haven't gone to bed yet. Girl, you are dedicated, and I appreciate it. And I'll show my first birthday present to my bad self. I, You know what? It's sad that I think, well, I should get myself more birthday presents. I can't think of anything I want. I don't need anything. I have everything I want. Which I guess you should say, that's a great life, girl. And I'm appreciative. But really, I can't think of a thing that I want. You know what I would want if I could have what I want? And there's no reason I can't have what I want, actually. Is I would like to go to a nice bookstore. Like drive into Tulsa and go to Barnes & Noble or something. And buy myself books that I want. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tim. I am. I'm very content. Very lucky. And I'm back to normal. My house is all painted. It's all cleaned up. Well, I can't say it's all cleaned up because we haven't washed the windows yet. But, um, hi, Helen. We've missed you, too. Hi, Ann. And I have my birthday present to show. Um, but otherwise, yeah, they're, all their stuff is gone. It looks awesome. They did a good job. It's paid for. <sighs> And it got done before winter. That's what I was worried about is we'd get too cold and then we couldn't paint. So, yep, they're all done. Had um, family here for the weekend, which was really nice. And now for the foreseeable future, nothing but normal. Well, as normal as I can be. Hey, Rachel. Um, hi, Pam. Okay, notifications must have gone out so we can start here shortly. It is sparkly and pretty and yeah. Hi, Chris. Normal. Ha, 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 ha. Rachel, I hope you just walked your happy ass in and went directly to the corner. Just go to the corner now, sit down, drag Dee Dee with you, and get comfy. Hey, Barb. Barbara. She doesn't like Bar to be called Barb. Barbara. Chicken pot pie. Um, the color, no, I still have the, I have a house book of when I do things in the house, um, and I haven't put it away, it's still sitting here, so hopefully, okay, these are the colors that I use. The main house, and I didn't take a picture of it, Didi said, go take a picture of it, I have not. Um, but this is the main color of the house. It's kind of a green gray and my house is like barn shaped color or barn shaped. So there's a lot of surface. So that's the main color. And this is the trim color. Kind of just a gray with a little bit of green tint. And then the shutters and the doors are black. So it's pretty. It's very pretty. 
I should run out this afternoon and take a picture of it so I have a date of when it was done, right? So that's what color it is. And they had a lot of paint left over. So I've got to drag that up under the house, which, you know those five gallon buckets of paint? Those bad boys are heavy. But it has to be kind of temperature controlled, so I can't think of any place else I can um, put it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I think it was weekend before last because we didn't. I didn't go to Ann and um, Carol's stream this weekend because um, I had company. But when I was at their stream weekend before last, Ann showed the most coolest thing. Hi, Mirkwood. And I had never seen it. And so I promptly had to go on. And this is the coolest thing, you guys. Anne has a yellow one, but they had it in blue. And it's a, I think it says it's seven tools in one. It's a fountain pen. Now you can also get this in ballpoint. Um, it is inked up. It's a fountain pen. Oops. Ooh, almost lost that lid there. And it screws on. It's got a very cool level in it, which I, I don't know if I'll ever use the level, but I think it's a very cool thing. It's a Swiss Army knife of pens, Dee Dee. Look at this. It's got three different rulers. Yep, but that's not all. It's also a stylus. This little end is a stylus. That screws out. And here on the end, there's a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver and flathead screwdriver. This is the Swiss Army knife of pens. Now, I, I will say, Anne, I love this. I just love the whole aspect of a pen that's seven things in one. You see me right? You need one. It's just like, and this is the box it comes in. It comes in red. I, the ones I saw came in red, yellow, and blue. And, of course, my favorite color is navy blue, so this was perfect. And I'd like to say, right, Barbara? Don't worry. Be happy. Um it's weighted very nicely it really is it's it's heavy it's it's substantial it's awesome but i'm i'm gonna say you need one of those pens right just because it's such a cool gimmick thing um it does write nice and smooth and i put purple ink in it because i had gotten some um purple ink that i hadn't tried yet so it does write nice and smooth. Um, this ink is not waterproof. Um, but I'm going to say, even though you all are expecting me to say this is my very favorite pen, this is not my favorite pen. I did get it on Amazon. Um, look for a one-touch Stylus 9 Function Tool Pen. And Anne has the one like this. But you can get it in ballpoint, too. So... Um, be careful when you're looking. If you want the um, fountain pen, yeah, make sure you pick that one. Because the first one that I looked at was the ballpoint. The ballpoint is a little bit cheaper. Hey, Jen. Good to see you. Hi, Barbara Clark. So, yeah. So, rush out and get yourself one. I think it was like 30 bucks. And the, the ballpoint one was 16 or something like that. Which the ballpoint one would still have all the other cool stuff on it. So, if you're a fountain pen nut, it's an option. But if you like ballpoint, they didn't leave you out. So, that was my cool birthday present to myself. And after you've got this, what else in the world could you possibly want? Oh, you're in bed. Oh, I hope you feel better. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you go back to sleep, actually. 
going into my cart, you bad enabler, you. Just, Barbara, when you buy it, just go, happy birthday, Janet. And I'll be like, sweet. Cry for Dawn, hello. Um, so that's all I'm going to enable you with. That's it. That is it. But then when I got this out, um, Dee Dee occasionally gets out all of her parallel pens. So I got all mine out this weekend and played with them. So I have to find a reason to use them more often. I don't use my parallel pens near enough. And for Inktober, I didn't have them inked up. I inked all those bad boys up. So they're good to go now. So that's all the enabling I've got for you guys. You don't have the pink one. I ordered the pink one um, separately, I think, Dee Dee. Um, it's a 3.0, which is my favorite nib size. So I ordered it separately. Um, my favorite, I'm going to be honest, is the 1.5 millimeter. Yeah, I love the parallel pens too. But Dee Dee, if... Honestly, you don't need the pink one. You've got 3.8 and 2.4, um, and you can make that work. I do that too, Barbara. I call that the 24-hour rule. Well, I didn't do it on this pen. I went there. I put it in my cart. I checked out immediately. But normally what I do is I put everything in my cart for 24 hours and then the next time I go back, if I still want it, then I check out. Yeah, no, you don't need that 3.0. You really don't. I was just being overly indulgent that day. Um, and then I did, last week while you guys were here, I was working on the cover of the Inktober little journal. And I have to say, I do love this. I really do. I think it came out good. It's finished. The only thing I haven't done is stitch the, um, and it's one signature. I haven't stitched it together yet. So I did get this done. I actually, believe it or not, miss Inktober. I like the structure. I like the discipline. So I'm going to foist on you guys, and you don't have to do it with me, but I thought, you know how Dee Dee um, reads out of the <clears throat> inspiration books? you know, every however often. I think I'm going to start reading to you guys out of this sketching stuff, story sketch from life. This guy is a really interesting writer. And I got this book about, I showed it to you about two months ago, I think. And I read it here and there, different parts of it. And it's not a book that you have to read from front to back. Um, but he's a good writer and he's a, a pretty good drawer as well. So, um, you're working on the prompts now. Good on you, Barbara. You got all six, no restraint. Um, so I thought what I would do starting today, I'm going to read you the introduction when I get to the draw my day. Um, and I'm going to work out of here a little bit. And for November, I'm going to try and make myself draw something from my day into the beast. So we're going to start that today. And if we have time, we'll... Um, maybe do a couple days back because of all the stuff going on i did get my november beast set up but i did absolutely nothing i i have written notes is all about what i want to go back and do so yeah you're gonna start getting story time easier than reading back to front yeah duh all right sorry i got my um camera all goofed up i don't know what the hell i did you did the Inktober Tangles during October. It's kind of nice to have that discipline, right, Barbara? I like it. Hi, Nettie. I hope I haven't missed anybody. I probably have. I'm not ignoring you. Just distracted. So today, actually, the other day, Dee Dee mentioned to me that Mary had asked her about the streamathon for New Year's Eve. And she said, are you going to do it? And I, I honestly had not even given it a thought. I can't even believe that we're into November, frankly, and that this year is rapidly going to come to a close. But I know you guys enjoy the scavenger hunt. I enjoy it, and it kind of gives you some discipline for January, February, March. So I'm probably going to do it. 
I'll stream New Year's Eve and I'll get a hold of Mary. Um, I'll stream New Year's Eve to launch it. But before I can do that, I have to have a list of prompts. So it's harder to come up with than you guys um, think, frankly. So I thought I would start now. We'll, we're going to start early. And so between now and the end of December, when I actually launch it and put the list out, I'm going to make you guys help me come up with this prompt list because it's actually you guys' project. I mean, I launch it, but it's really up to you guys to make it successful. So I'm going to make you participate. And it, this is not new. I've made you participate before. Your birthday is New Year's Eve. My sister-in-law's is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's, baby. And the weirdest thing happened the other night here, November 3rd, because I was racking my brain, you guys. I was sitting in here. Robert had gone to bed, so it was already fairly late. I'm going to say it was maybe 10, 9.30, 10. Um, and I'm sitting watching, um, big sky or whatever the heck I was watching. And I kept hearing boom, boom, boom. And I thought, who is shooting guns out there at this time of night when it's dark? And, um, so I got up and went out and looked and there was an, like a 4th of July fireworks display going on behind my house. And it wasn't just a few kids playing with firecrackers, you guys. This was a full-blown display. The great big ones that go up in the sky and boom and, you know, all that stuff. And it went on for like 25, 30 minutes. Hi, Pam. Um, I just finished it, Pam. Hi, Teresa. Um, it's better to shoot guns during the day. You can at least see what you're shooting at. Um but I was racking my brain trying to think, what the heck were they doing a full-blown firework display for? Maybe it was my birthday. But that, that was one of the things I thought up. Maybe somebody's just doing a great big thing for somebody's 50th birthday or whatever. But I sat out there and watched it probably 20, 30 minutes. It was amazing. On November 3rd, and I'm thinking, what the heck is November 3rd? Still don't know, but it was amazing. I'm going to just assume it was for my birthday. You can't find the fountain pen? All right, CB, you spoiled, rotten little brat, you. I'll do the link myself because it'll be right in my orders. It'll be like one second. <clears throat> Got it. This is going to come up with the blue one, but you can at least see the description, right? See if that works, um, CB. It should. You're welcome. There you go. Look at Dee Dee. She's helping out. She's putting all those emojis in. Were they celebrating bonfire night? I, we don't have that here, Dorothy. And the weird thing was, it was on a Thursday night, and there's nobody here. Like, there is nobody here. So, yeah. So I showed that, showed that. Those things can go away now. Um, I do got to stitch that little book, though. So this was the scavenger hunt from last year. And I got out all my books so that we could look through um, prior year's prompts and see which ones you guys liked and which ones you want to include again. So unless you want me to, I'm not going to flip through the books. I will flip through this one because this one was fun. Um, that's something I got to paste in here somewhere. So I'll just do a quick flip. I actually was thinking about doing one of these today, the neurographic art. Look at your list. Was it Girdle? Um, no, it's G-U-R-D-I-L. I think I misspelled it. I'm pretty sure I misspelled it. You want to flip? I haven't gotten my present yet. So this is good. I like this. 
but I almost did one of these today. Those are kind of fun and mindless. This was cat. See, I don't even remember now. Last year, I kind of had a little bit of a theme of games. And that's how we started playing Pictionary. And we played a couple other games. But um, one of them, I remember the prompt was snark. So how do you get 500 cows into a barn? Put a bingo sign on it. That is so rude. What has 75 balls and keeps ladies smiling? Bingo. <laughs> Uh, this was cats use a product you don't use very often and a random useless fact. So I guess a group of cats is called a clouder and a bezoar is a hairball. This was checkers, um, a receipt. I know I used a receipt and heated it up with the hair dryer to turn it black and turned it into a checkerboard. I love this page because it's got a little book. Product portfolio. Oh, and random useless facts again about Monopoly. So that was a fun page. Playing cards and cartoon characters, I think was this one, and Zentangle. I like that. Some it was this. Oh, this was a color book page because I'm not a big color book person. And I cut out the gnomes and put them on. I don't remember. And then use a door or something. Who is WPG? That's Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. Because she's from Winnipeg. This we did, this was Scategories. That was the game we played. Somebody asked, what was that other game we played on Scavenger Hunt? It was Scategories. And you guys helped me with that one. This was washi tape and acrylic skin. This was a purple page with more snark on it. Oh, really? You know what that look, sounds like? Not my problem. I like this. Well, I did really good last year, you guys. Um, this had a little book in it of coffee quotes. Why, yes, I could start my day without coffee, but I like being able to remember things like how to say words and put on pants. Roses are red, mornings are hard. I suck at poetry, coffee. <laughs> now that, that is so my humor. That's funny to me. A day without coffee is like, just kidding. I have no idea. Coffee, smile, laugh, repeat. That is my life. Coffee, because murder is wrong. Not that that's going to stop me. Coffee first, people never. Uh, nothing like the smell of freshly brewed, magical, psychotic rage stabilizer in the morning. Ah, that was fun. All right, you guys, now I'm getting excited for scavenger hunt. Who is at my door? Hang on. I hope it's not a bill collector. This is fun, you guys. I can't believe that mailman walked all the way down the driveway. Look what came. All right. I'm going to save it. I'm going to be an adult for like half a minute. Um, we'll just finish this flip. The postman always rings twice. Well, I'm going to have to train him because he didn't. Bees don't waste time explaining to flies why honey is better than poo. This was a gift from, I think, my sister Cheryl. If, it, if it's not, 
thank you again to whoever sent it to me. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure. Nope. Scooby-Doo. Well, wait a minute. No, I don't think it was. <clears throat> God, it's a whole letter. Anyway, that was actually um, fib art. And this thing's really cool because you twist it up. This I this scared the hell out of me when I opened the envelope. It was kind of a thick little envelope. And I opened it. And then it flew out like that. I'm not sure I should keep that in a scavenger hunt book, though. Ugh. But this was fib art. I do remember that. So be paying attention because some of these you might want to include again this year. This was food packaging, candy packaging, which I'm going to do that one again because that one everybody can do. No, open it. No, 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 no. Dee Dee taught me about this adulting thing, and I'm on it. This was stickers. I don't know. It was another game one but I like the way it came out. This one is my favorite page. I drew this whole thing from scratch about Candyland. And it was fun. And it came out good. And I'm proud of myself. And this was Taboo. And this is Domino Tetris. This was Yahtzee. This one was, I wrote down it, because it had glitter, tea bag, unused product, swatch, heart, snark, and string. This is my cup of care. Oh, look, it's empty. I got a good heart, but this mouth. I noticed that the candy and food page was well smattered with labels. Yeah, all the junk I eat. Bad junk, not good junk. Paper clip. This was text. This one actually was kind of hard for me, but it was fun. Girlfriend writes, I want to kiss you. He writes back everywhere. Mm-hmm. Omaha, Nebraska, Springfield, Ohio, Red Lobster. Stop. Radio Shack. <laughs> Here's the dog. The dog tweets or messages to me are just so much fun. Where are you? Where am I? Where are you? I'm at home eating Pop-Tarts. I'm at the park. What are you doing there? Waiting for you to bring back the stick I threw two hours ago. Oh, yeah. Totally couldn't find it. <laughs> Dog, still hungry. You've had your breakfast. Want more breakfast? You'll get fat. What's fat? It's what happens when you eat too much food. Fat sounds awesome. Let's get fat dog again this morning i saw a squirrel in the garden forget it he called me a chicken forget it i opened the door and told him <laughs> to say it to my face oh god he beat the crap out of me and stole the microwave <laughs> see stuff like that just cracks me up and there's a christmas card from kimberly that she made so cute that was going to be a paint with marbles page. Oh my gosh, look at this is where we played Pictionary <laughs> the first time. Oh, that started a really bad thing. I actually did the paint with marbles, I think, on the um, streamathon. Oh my God. And then I drew this Campbell's soup can. I don't remember what. Oh, this one I think was repetitive pattern. I don't really remember. This one was a toilet paper roll, some tags. Oh, I bet the tags have snark on it. Nope, they don't. No snark on the tags? What the hell happened to me? Um, I think one of the prompts was you had to swatch something. You were just a little sick. You think, CB? Of all the people in the world who should know that, you should know that. Here was a historical art article. Um, this was, you had to use postage stamps. I like this page. Um, random useless fact is don't tie your vegetables. Oh my God, that's Dee Dee Willingham. She honestly said that on stream one day. She said that. Don't tie your vegetables to your cow. <laughs> So I had to enshrine this 
in a random useless fact page. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Bring the iced coffee and no one gets hurt. That was my ransom note. Here was a um, jigsaw puzzle. Oh, we had fun with this one too. This one I want to do again because I have to do um, another paper doll. And this time it may be um, men in thongs because my paper doll was men in pants. And then I think it was Devin told me that he is actually a soccer player. I don't, I don't care if he's a plumber. He can eat crackers in my bed anytime. And so, yeah, this year it's going to be men in thongs. So I made the guy different pants because my paper doll was men in pants. That This was fun. I have to say this page was fun. And I think I did this on stream, didn't I? It seems to me as though men in pants was a stream. So, yeah, he got some pants. Men in thongs. Get it, girl. <laughs> nice abs. Turn him around. Does he have a plumber's crack? We won't know until this year, Dee Dee, <laughs> when we do men in thongs. This was the sorry game. This was fun. I like this. Chinese checkers. And then I think one of the prompts was um, fortune cookie fortune. And this year was, I think, for two years, I was really careful to draw, try and do things that you didn't have to leave home for because of um, COVID. Okay, Shaz, I'm going to have to probably be um, a little bit more specific that it's the American thong, not the Australian. Because, yeah, we're, we were talking underoos, not um, – let's read the things because if I remember right, they were kind of funny. I can't believe you're about ready to eat my tiny home. That wasn't chicken. <laughs> and this is, I made the fortune cookies out of um, jelly print paper. I think jelly print paper was one of the prompts. The, num the numbers below are meaningless. Okay, for the first time in 20 years, I bought a lottery ticket, you guys, this weekend because of the Mega Million thing or Powerball is $1.9 billion now. I won't do it again. I didn't win. I didn't even get one number. Blessed are the children, for they shall inherit the national debt. Error 404, fortune not found. Okay, um, Chris is Chris just got it right. Cristiano Ronaldo, yes, that was the name Devin gave me. I'm not a soccer fan, so I don't know that stuff. We don't know the future, but you just got a free cookie. <laughs> so those were the fortunes out of the fortune cookie, and I really had fun drawing this. That was just a blank sheet of white paper. So that was way fun to do that. This was a game called Never Have I Ever Marched in a Protest or Lied on My Resume, Spent a Night in Jail. I know that's surprising to a lot of you. Um, if I got $1.9 billion, we would be having some serious bad boy giveaways around here. Um. Sent a stranger a drink, tried a fad diet, received nudes, crashed a party or a wedding, dated a musician, scuba diving, been cheated on. So that's a whole page of never have I ever. And I know the one not going to jail surprises you guys. Um, this was a card from Kathy Carney. Um, last year you had to write a Dear, dear Diary entry. Dear Diary, this silly wench never listens when I tell her that what she's getting ready to do is a bad idea. Right now, I'm feeling fully vindicated that what I said would happen actually happened and trash ensued. Because she has overachieving fibs, Peggy and Linda, who listened to her incessant whining and suggested this fulfilled as something out of the trash prompt, my level of satisfaction has diminished. 
but knowing she'll ignore me the next time, I will exercise patience. So my I told you so moment is something I will happily wait to experience. XOXO intuition. I actually did this illuminated letter. Well, this whole thing on stream. And then when I was working on another page, I got um, Matt Medium or something on it and ruined the whole thing. So I was pissed off and I was going to just keep the D for the illumination part and throw everything else away. And everybody was like, no, no, no. Use it for something out of the trash. That was a prompt. I don't remember what this one was. Fibs demands and resolution. Management confirms receipt of your demands of eight or three twenty eight twenty two. We take all fibs concerns. Who wrote this nonsense? We take all fibs concerns and demands very seriously and have done our best to resolve them to your satisfaction. We openly acknowledge that some members just don't give a damn. <laughs> Denise streams with Didi at least once a month. Actually, that has been happening, I think, almost. A legislative mandate has been issued. Non-compliance will result in the arrest and incarceration. The threat of no grilled cheese assures compliance. Games at least bi-weekly. We haven't done that. Compliance is almost a certainty as one content creator is a notoriously lazy wench who consistently takes the path of least resistance. Easy content is certain to be embraced with gusto. So, exploding cat dookie. Who wrote this stuff? What the, our unanimous consensus is that this was adequately handled in demand number three. Contact, oh, it was Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan was behind this one. Contact Uncle Dan to procure the finest exploding cat dookie in the Fed community. Holy crap, this is weird. But in all fairness, I asked. This was funny stuff. Cranberries. Probably the most debated topic, but we are committed to the promotion of cranberries. Endless cranberries to rival the Olive Garden's endless breadsticks. While cranberries have historically been a Thanksgiving delicacy, we will begin a wall-to-wall -wall campaign to normalize daily consumption of cranberries. We will include New Year's Eve's spontaneous outbursts of cheese. No, I'm not going to stream Monday and Wednesday. Chocolate. We have determined that chocolate is a good thing and should be consumed in bulk regularly. Gummy bears should also be included when purchasing in bulk. Psycho music whenever a ruler appears. Who thought of that? Why psycho? We have determined that a choir of angel, angels would be more appropriate for the emergence of rulers in any situation. An angel recruitment committee has been established and we are not embarrassed to admit that we are very excited about this demand resolution. This was found friends. I love the found friend and relatives. Um, and this was also the game clue and gold foil. I don't remember, but this one was really fun to do too. Fire up some psycho music. This one was really fun too. I'm going to do more found relatives. This was a map of my childhood where I grew up. That's my sister and me. That's me when I was little. I was so cute, right? Still think you should submit this one. And that's where I lived. And I drew a whole map of my neighborhood where the bowling alley was, where the movie theater was, where the shopping center, where McDonald's was. This one, I was so cute. I'm not sure I should leave those pictures in a scavenger hunt either. So there you go. So if you're new, what we're doing is coming up with prompts so that we can enjoy another year of this. And then flag tag, rag flags, I think we're part of it. So that's sticking out up here. There's a button of a monkey. This crap is so much fun. Who am I going to submit it to, Rachel? You look like a mischievous child. Didi, I had brothers. If you think I wasn't mischievous. But the best thing about that one, I have a couple of really fun photos from when I was a kid. Um, those little jeans, 
I was so tiny that um, they couldn't find jeans to fit me. So those jeans actually came off of a doll. Oh, the clue game. Those are, are jeans off of a doll. When I was five years old, I could walk under the kitchen table without bending over or hitting my head. That's how tiny I was. They held me back a year from school because I was so small. So we're going to come up with a prompt list. Y'all are going to holler them out. The whole game theme last year, in my opinion, was really fun. But we've done that, so we can't do that again. So oh, that bums me out because that was really kind of a fun theme. Open the box. You want me to open the box, Dee Dee? Okay, I will. I know what's in here. Don't be an adult. I have no intentions of being an adult. Not now, not ever. Okay, here we go. Okay, if you've ever gotten mail from Dee Dee, I'm certain that she owns stock in some tape company somewhere. Because she gets out that tape and like excess is her goal. It's obvious. Okay, I'm just going to dump it out. Check it out. Check it out. Holy crap, Dee Dee. This is huge. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hi, Julie. You're here in time to see my birthday presents from Dee Dee. And she wrapped them in um, the Bugs Bunny tissue paper, which I love. And I actually have some of it. All right. We're going to do the one that I know first. Okay, you guys get your singing voice on. And this actually is going to be hanging somewhere so everybody can thoroughly enjoy it. It's an archive stencil ruler. <sighs> This is the best. The best. And I think it's stuck to its little. It is. Oh, they glued it to the paper. Why would they do that? Probably going to take solvent to get that off. <gasps> you guys. Check it out. I'm going to have to get that off, though, because if I put it on anything, it's going to rip. Have no fear. We have solvents around here. Thank you, Barbara Clark. It is so pretty, right? Heavenly chorus and cheers. Okay, hang on. All right, I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. Oh, Dee Dee, that's so awesome. Thank you. It's got bugs, numbers. You know what? That may be the new numbering for my new beast come January. I've been using rubber stamps, which are very easy, but and bugs bunny tissue. Awesome. And mushroom washi, which I'm going to try and salvage so I can put in the beast. You're getting ASMR? Uh, that makes me happy, Rachel. Oh, look at this. One of the deep secrets of life is that all that is really worth the doing is what we do for others. Isn't that true? Lewis Carroll quote. And it's watercolor. This is, looks like caddy paper. This is handmade watercolor paper. Awesome. 
and the thing is it's got posts so I can take it apart and add more if I want hi kitty cat Jen from Warner Brothers Studios did they bring this to you when you gave it to me this is so nice and I do love the caddy paper I like the handmade watercolor paper. Thank you, Dee Dee. This is beautiful. Awesome. Pen to paper journal. Handmade leather, too. Awesome. All right. That I will make sure that I affix in the back somewhere. No, the tissue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. Dee sent me awesome birthday presents, Robert. Really? Yes. Cool. Very, 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 very cool. Very, very. Come here, Robert. I got bubble wrap. I'm going to wrap your head. You won't hurt yourself. Like he doesn't want to play with me. You spoiled freak you. I know, right? The bunny paper is awesome, right? Everybody's saying hi, Robert. And they nope. think they hi, think everyone. they think you suck because you won't come over here and let me wrap your head. They told me that. Oh. I do like the mushroom washi, Dee Dee. That's some awesome stuff. Can't so ever go wrong with, with tears on his eyes. Look at Robert. Look at. And if you ever touch this, I will cut off your arms. <laughs> okay. We're at. Do you agree to above those or terms? Below the elbow. Oh, how neat! Isn't that cool? I'm showing him the ruler. That is neat. All right. What's the rule about this? I, I just gave play it with you. it. You touch it, and I cut <laughs> off your arms. <laughs> Oops, I lost chat. They come in and Janet's giving Robert crap. I know. What in the world? An Alice in Wonderland paperweight. Oh, now this is very cool. Very cool, Dee Dee. Let me see if I can get in the box. Whoever does this packaging, I swear to God, they must sit and think, okay, how can we drive people crazy? And nine times out of ten, it works. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. It drops out the bottom. This is heavy. This is really heavy. And I'll use this in something. That is so neat. Now I have to get some papers to weight down. My voice changes when I'm happy? Of course it does. Everybody does. Because when you talk with a smile... Your voice changes. That is so cool. Uh, you know where I'm going to put this? In my living room, I have a... It's a combination desk. Um, and above that, sitting on top, are some bookshelves and stuff like that. And I have it set up with a like a bank lamp and stuff like that. That's where that's going to sit. You can keep it in the watercolor pack oh this tilt please oh i you guys can't see it it's got a watch and a flower and a card it's very very cool i like the book Dee, Dee thank you so much you really don't didn't have to do it i appreciate you doing it um the fact that you'll be my friend is probably more than I deserve. No, it's very, very cool looking. I hope you can see it on the pad. Oh, that's true. 
like that is that what you're saying all right I'm never going to get out of this chair. There's, it is. It's so nice, right? Dee Dee, I love you. Thank you. I do love it. <laughs> and I look forward to what you're going to send next year. <laughs> it is just such an amazing community, Chris. It, it just is. It just is. And it's amazing that we've hung together for as long as we have. I mean, Dee Dee and Julie, probably CB. Some of these people, it's getting on like 10, 12 years that we've been hanging out. All right, there's a big pile of stuff here, and it's going to wait till later. Ah, this is so cool. All right, that's going to sit over there. Happy day in America. This I will probably, I'm going to start very soon after we start making this list. I will start collecting stuff. So if you guys want, you can keep a list and start collecting early. I won't start putting my book together until New Year's Eve. So can't you feel the love tonight for real? Barbara, I love when you sing and chat. Robert can be really tough. No, no. When I told him I would cut off his arms, you saw him cave. I am going to use it in my scavenger hunt. That's what I was just going to say, Dee Dee, that this will definitely be somehow included in my scavenger hunt. So I will get a basket today when I'm cleaning up and um, start collecting stuff. But I won't cheat. I won't do any pages. I won't have anything done ahead of time. So pay attention so some of you, if you want, can get a head start, okay? All right, and for the starting the scavenger hunt list, I will use my handy-dandy new birthday pen. And a thumbs up is always, always, always appreciated. So... um have you guys been thinking about stuff you want on the list? I'll just run through last year's real quick. Canceled postage, which I always love that one. A swatch page of playing cards, dear diary entry, unused product, pattern paper, clue item. Clue item. I wonder if that's from the game. I don't know. That wasn't very clear, was it? Create an ad, use makeup. The create an ad might have been the paper doll guy. Um, use makeup, a book page. Book page, I think we should definitely um, include. I like book page. So I'm going to be writing. This pen writes pretty smooth. Um Paint or an ink splatter page, drawn art supply, tissue paper is definitely going to be on there because I'm going to use the Bugs Bunny. Because it really is all about me. Okay, and you guys are saying postage. I like the postage too, Dee Dee. And Rachel said something international. Now, the something international... Um, that is going to probably require that fibs um, work together to accomplish that. Um, a quote, that's always a good one. Should we make them illustrate a quote? We have to have some snark. I have to agree with that because my life would be incomplete without it. Hey, Tommy Joe. Um, book page. Book page is another one. I already got that. And postage. I like those. Um, let's see. Tissue paper. Paper doll. So that wasn't an ad. I don't know what I did an ad for. I did finish all of them, though. Funny text message. A pet. An acrylic skin. A coffee filter. I think people like the coffee filter one, too. No illustrations. Barbara's saying no. Barbara, you can cut something out of a damn magazine or go to the library and tear a page out. I think people like the coffee filter. 
if I remember right. And I don't want it just a repeat of this one. I want it something new. Um, Pictionary. Boy, that started us down a crazy path. A menu, a puzzle. The menu was on mine was the Candyland page. A puzzle, a greeting card, add a pocket. So if any of these you want included, yell out now. Add a pocket. I like the pocket. Um, use foil. Oh, that was on the clue page. A feather. Tea bag or tea bag pa packaging. A gnome. Yahtzee. A button. Jelly print. Postcard. Something out of the trash. An illuminated letter. Now that one I think was difficult for people. So I, I want to include things that people have to really think about or work hard on or learn something new. Um, vegetable stickers. I really failed on that one last year. I had some, but I failed on it. Washi tape. I think washi tape is a good one. The games are fun. The games were fun. Not too many games. I'm not doing um, I'm not doing games again this year. That was last year. Toilet paper. All right. Toilet paper is on here. Um, candy packaging. Bingo. A page of shapes. A paper clip or a rag flag. Twine ribbon string. That one's always good. Because you can use it so many ways. I think the year before we actually used yarn. Um, Scrabble tiles. Use a door. A rubber stamp. Rubber stamp is good too. Fingerprints. Use sprays. Illustrate a quote. Color book page. Stickers or labels. An old maid card. Something from your childhood. A tag. A soup label. And I am going to do a label off of a can this year. A paper bead. I like that. That's a new one. And then one stream, I probably will go ahead and make paper. Um, I load the illuminated letter. Um, yeah, I'll make paper beads on one. Let's see. Marble painting, which was insane. A used envelope. Um, let's just put in junk mail. So that could include an envelope or whatever. Um, add a charm, categories game, a cartoon character, a rainbow. Okay, the rainbow in that book I just showed was the washi tape page. Fib art, use a ruler. I think use a ruler should be on, it should be every other item. Um, a historic article, origami, a post-it note, Chinese checkers, fortune cookie fortune, useless random facts, which are always fun, monopoly item, a phone book page, a purple page, page of cats, a ransom note, fabric, fi fabric or fiber. I kind of like that one. Um, your choice, a napkin, Tetris, matchbook, stencil, Candyland, an old photo, calligraphy, something snarky, snack packaging, gift wrap, toilet paper roll, doodles or zentangle, a map page, monochromatic page, a tip in, watercolor, sparkles or glitter, which I hated that. Sorry game, page of hearts, repetitive pattern, demand notice, never have I ever, coffee ring or stain, dominoes, grocery receipt, and checkers game. How about one page your favorite color, another page your least favorite color? That's not a bad idea. See, it would be hard for me to put a least favorite color. 
because I kind of like, all, no, I do like all colors, but I guess if I had to come up with a color that I wouldn't wear, I wouldn't put in my home, would be orange. A stain. Can I just send a photo of my, you get to do anything. Ransom note was on this one. Do you want another ransom note? The games were hard to find. Huh. Goggle it up, Sherry. Hi, by the way. Um, those were ones that we did last year. I don't mind some repetition. And the truth of the matter is we're all using the same product and probably using the same stuff around our house. Um, stenciling. I like stenciling. The thing about um, demanding certain products, Nettie, like I have modeling paste. Um, most, I would say a percentage of our um, bibs maybe don't have modeling paste, but there is a homemade recipe for modeling paste. So, I mean, maybe if they don't have it, they can get it or make some. Or um, another thing I've used to stencil with is Gap. Use a product you have but have never used. Could be anything. I think unused product is um, always a good prompt. All right, you guys. Stenciling with something like modeling paste. Well, what we could do, and I'll just write it down because um, a lot of these might get weeded out. Tim recommends trains or tracks or signals. Okay, something to do with trains. I like that. And anything Tim asks for, Tim's going to get. So, um, and did you want ransom note put on there? I'm waiting for you goofs to write in here ideas. Okay. Um, CB did say rag flags and I do too. I, I like the rag flags. I'm going back and chat to see if I had missed anything. Barbara isn't suggesting things. She's telling us what not to do. Barbara, tell me something you like to do. All right. The 69. Okay. You guys maybe didn't see it. I have a um, put on my channel that you must be a subscriber for at least one minute before you can chat. Um, They had to subscribe to me to even be able to get that into chat because we haven't had bots and that's the, um, the reason we haven't. Sand or glitter. Hi, Bissup. I hate glitter. I hate glitter, but we're putting it on there because this is not all about me. Um, I didn't write ransom note. You said yes, you did want ransom note. And I will do some sort of, um, like I'm going to add a label off a can. You hate both. (laughs) (laughs) Since five minutes ago, Flo. Oh, my God, you jerk. All right. These people are getting around Twitter again. Oh, that annoys the hell out of me. You have no idea. All right. How about, okay, Sherry said, how about an item you have not or just found? 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand that, Sherry, what you're talking about. In flow, if you want it to be all about me, it can be all about me. I do not think you have subscribers only turn on because announce when you come in on if you do. Okay, Barbara, I'll go check that, but I'm almost sure that I have it turned on. That you have to be a subscriber for at least a minute. Because you get to determine. They, you can either put that they have to be a subscriber for, you know, five minutes or ten minutes or whatever. Thanks for reporting them, you guys. It's just so annoying. You know, like, what the hell is wrong with people? Um, but thanks, Barbara. I will do. You have to set it every time. Ugh. Well, I haven't been bothered by bots. And Dee Dee went in and banned certain words, which has helped her. But now, it, oh, idiots. Go through one of your drawings and use something you find. How could we make that? Because some people don't draw. Um, let's just say use your own art have not used or just found okay um un well i have unused product on here so we already have that one a found object found object would be fun oops Let's see if this ink is, it is going through. That's okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, reuse art. Well, that's, I'll put reuse um, in that one. Use your own art or reuse your own art. Use tissues. Do not count people. It's found objects. Why not, Rachel? I have them all over my house. Did we use, I did put toilet paper down. Didn't you want toilet paper? Yeah. I put it down, Rachel. Um, what else? For those of you that have done it in the past, think about what was some of your favorite um, pages. The snark for me has been really fun. Um... We have stencils and unused product. Um, I hate to be specific about products because if somebody doesn't have, say, water, color, I don't want them to have to buy something. But I specify, okay, toilet paper, unused. We will make a point. I like coffee stain because that lets me um, go in and write snark about how important coffee is to your existence. Ooh, a message from outer space. I already have an idea for that, Rachel. Okay, we're doing fairly good here. Okay, now CB said she wanted fewer prompts this year. I think last year I did 100. Um, yeah, I did because I had to stick 100 sideways over here. Um, and I will do, somehow I'll figure out how to do a Google Doc. I Don't even get me started on that crap. But anyway, um, you get them all the time. A tribute to someone. That might be fun. Um, don't we always have a hundred? Well, actually, I think I started out the first year. Let me pull out the first year's book. Let's see how far we've come. Because the first year we did it, I think, was 2018. Uh, 
Let me look here real quick. What the heck? I know I have one. Let's see. This is, yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018, I think, was the first year. So let's see how far we've come. Here was the 2018 book. <clears throat> oh, you need to see all the books? All right, well, we're going all the way back to 2018. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Now, the cover of this one was really fun, and I would do this again if you guys want to see it. Eileen made me do it. And what I did was we just took random washi tape and then I had to meld it all together with the paint. And it came out really fun. I have to say, this making this cover was way fun. And then the inside paper is magical tissue paper. Okay. So in 2018, look at the junk I keep. What the hell is wrong with me? Gratitude. A gratitude page. You know what? I'm going to write that down right now. I actually like the idea of a gratitude page. Note to self. All right. Note to self. And I'm going to do a page of gratitude. You do a whole gratitude book. Personally, I don't mind 100. Well, the thing is, how about you list 100, but people get to eliminate 10 that they hate and still be finished. I would be okay with that. Change the rules. Change to 90 complete. Okay, we're going to shoot for 100, but you can qualify for the giveaway. Um at 90. I don't, that's good with me. Incoming transfer. I said, never mind. There's no, well, look who walked in the room. There's Tina. Hi, Tina. We should have one for each day of the three months. Well, that would put it right at 90. So, all right, we're going to change the rules this year. 90 complete to qualify for the giveaway. All right, let's see what the prompts were. Tea bag envelope and or tag, coloring book page, label off of a blanket pillow or towel. You know those, those labels that said you'll be arrested if you take them off? Ask a neighbor or a fib for something to add. Include something you would normally throw away. Photo of a celebrity you either love or hate. Flower or leaf, a puzzle, any kind, crosswords, Sudoku, jigsaw, you choose and complete, a greeting card sentiment, junk mail, which we already have, a whole page of blue stuff. Oh, you know what? This year I was thinking I want a whole page of white. White would be good because that's where you're going to put your toilet paper. Your unused toilet paper. Postage stamp. I like the postage pages. Oops. Knocking crap off. Oh, wait. Dee Dee already said postage. Is that Janet's? Yes, it is. Um, a whole page of blue stuff. Craft, art store receipt, a tip-in. Anything you want. I do like tip-ins. We're going to add that one. Um, a dry cleaning tag. And when you, we look through this book, you'll see mine because I don't do dry cleaning. I barely get laundry done. A newspaper article, a local business card. Well, this was back when we could actually leave our homes. So some of them are things that you had to leave your home to get. Postage stamps, real or not. Food logos, washi tape, local attraction brochure, a pop top, a piece of swapped art a test page of art supplies, a sleeve from a hot beverage. That one was a hard one for me. 
because I don't go buy coffee. Well, Robert goes buys my coffee, but it's cold. Ransom note from cutout letters, a photo of someone you love, a recipe card from a supermarket. I don't even know if they do that anymore. Packaging from a re recent purchase. I kind of like the packaging idea too. Because it makes you use things um, different ways. So doodles, lots of doodles, a sticker off of fruit or vegetables, a quote that you love, a cartoon character, piece of shipping or duct tape. Dee Dee will have no problem with that one. Napkins. Draw or color some plaid. Make a paper airplane out of wrapping paper or pattern paper. A crayon label. That was a fun one that year. Ribbon, a postcard from any location, sheet music, fortune out of a fortune cookie. That one's always been fun. Fake credit card from like ARP or AA card, the crap they send you in the mail. Candy or gum wrapper, cupcake paper, a Zentangle or interesting pattern, the hold edge from notebook paper, something from your local library, a ticket stub, a newspaper headline, picture of a fashion model, Nail polish on something, perfume, spray on your journal, airline luggage, that was another fun one, lyrics from your favorite song, rubber stamping, stickers, your family tree, lettering practice, company logos, page of red stuff, a matchbook cover, flag from your country or state, rag flag, Butterfly yarn, something unusual, your choice, gratitude, photos or words, something that says you. Um, and then didn't I leave out a couple of, yeah, it was like I missed numbers 48 and 49, so I had to add two more. So the first year we only did 70. Oh, thanks, Shaz. Um. So we just added quickly your 2018 word or your 2018 goal. So um, that were the prompts. So we only had 70 the first year. And this is like my postage and a tip in and tape, Bronco tape. Here's another postage page. Ransom, if you want to see 48 and 49. Okay, the reason I did, if you want to see 48 and 49 again, is because I left them off the prompt list. Send art supplies to Monkey Island. And I had published all this stuff um, before I realized that we didn't have 48 and 49. So this was the card from ARP and the sleeve and a flower and some lipstick. I finally figured out the only reason to be alive is to enjoy it. That's a good quote. This was a cupcake paper. Tea in a tea bag. Products. Pro product packaging. 2020, you did 72. So, yeah, I mean, we can change this. This was receipts from <laughs> art supply stores. Oh, my God. I should be embarrassed. And here's some kisses for you. More posted stamps. This was, because I don't do dry cleaning, I had to draw out and make this entire dry cleaning thing, um, which was fun because I was, in my real life, um, a forms designer. So I went ahead and designed the whole thing um, as a dry cleaning receipt. And then put lipstick on a shirt. And I drew the shirt. And it seems like I remember doing this on stream. Not sure, but I think I did this entire thing on stream. Here's some candy packaging. Do you think I like Reese's, M&M's, chocolate? Who knows where I got all that stuff. These are the words from the song, I Hope You Dance. I do love that song with music paper. Let's include music paper again because I like music paper. And Flo said, it is all about me. 
lipstick on your collar, told a tale on you. Hi, Janet. This was the whole side of um, a spiral notebook with some doodles and tangle in the background. Somebody I love. That's my friend, Mary. Oh, Mary, I miss you every day. That's me and Mary. She was definitely somebody I loved. She was my little neighbor. I used to drink coffee with her every day. An exemplar. I can write that down. Um, this was an envelope that I zentangled on and a tip in. Vegetable stickers, vegetable stickers. The music page. Yeah, I like the music page too because I love that song, I Hope You Dance. Um, here's gratitude. This was from the grocery store. Recipes from the grocery store. Post office. And I. this is my wannabe family. All the royal family. Now the queen's dead. And that makes me so sad. And this is in honor of Denise. <laughs> Dee Dee's daughter. God, that happened that long ago. Um, these are tickets. This is a toilet paper roll. We got to put toilet paper roll just in Denise's honor. Because if you guys, a lot of you are going to remember when Denise was at Dee Dee's one time helping her clean out. Dee Dee left the room for some crazy thing. And Denise picked up a whole wad of toilet paper rolls. And she was like, WTF. That was her, like, what the hell have I come across? So this is in honor of Denise. What the flip? And this was my article about Indira Gandhi was charged with election fraud. This was my luggage ticket. Now, this one I know we did on stream. And it was, I, I used to do sporadic, impromptu evening streams. We did this on stream where I designed the whole luggage ticket thing. And then I, Robert had to help me. I could not remember how to um, fold a paper airplane. So Robert helped us with that. And then somehow in the chat, we ended up naming the whole place shit a line. And I drew the emojis for the logo, which I, I like this page. This was Crayola. I did this on stream. I do remember drawing the Crayola and taking the labels off the Crayolas. Crayons smell better than your butt. I don't know why I put that in there. Here's product packaging. These were some pens that I got from Jet Pen. Calligraphy practice. This was Draw the Plaid. This was Clan Young. Here's some business cards from local plumbers, and I still use Wiz Plumbing. This was my country's flag. This was washi tape. This was using stickers. That's what this was. These, this whole page is made out of stickers and tape. This is tissue paper and magicals. I don't know what prompt it was for. Here's the pop tags with ribbon and this must have been just somebody I like because I think he's handsome you like the idea of making your own plaid all right I'm writing it down <clears throat> um This was all fun stuff. There's my card from Mary. Not Mary, little Mary that I used to drink coffee with. Another Mary that I used, well, she used to come to coffee too. Um, 
this is a matchbook, and I was going to draw doodles on all the pages and did, never got it done. So there's that. Coffee, the most important meal of the day. If called by a panther, don't answer. Ogden Nash, that is actually one of my favorite quotes. Here's some more doodles. I like the doodles. I like the doodles a lot. This was Magicals on Paper Towel. This was my coloring page because I'm not a coloring person. I don't know what this was. It was blowing ink with a straw. Um, was it? I know how this was done, but I don't know what prompt it was. More Zentangle. This was from a local attraction. Stuff I collected. Local attraction. Map. Here's my family tree. And this is, in fact, my real family tree. That's another one of my favorite quotes. It's better to have a rich soul than to be rich. This is from a local business. Here's yarn. Heart me some queen. And this was when Elizabeth and Philip were married. An article. You want Zentangle? Oh, my. Okay, my mom is hungry. Okay, Tina, go have fun. I will do that, Tina. Sorry if I missed something. My hormones are alive and well. That could be. Um, this was tags off of pillows or blankets. This was um, this was the blue page, and I made a book of doors. Doorbell broken, yelled ding dong really loud. So, and then when you open it up, there's blue stuff inside. This one says "Go away." Blue inside. No stupid people beyond this point. So this obviously was snark. Emeralds. The neighbors have better stuff. Please use other door. Surprise. Gone crazy. Back soon. With a blue shoe. So that was the blue page. And then we did the um, fortune cookies again. Life will be happy until the end when you pee yourself a lot. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. <laughs> About time I got out of that cookie. Help, I'm being held hostage in a Chinese bakery. You will be hungry again in one hour. The greatest danger could be your stupidity. The fortune you seek is in another cookie. And I actually do have this stamp of a fortune cookie. Who else in this room right now can say that they have a rubber stamp of a fortune cookie? That, that It looks like, I won't even tell you what I think it looks like. <laughs> Here's some more postage that I made out of a map, rubber stamps and of a map. This was a tag from a fib with more kisses. This is from my library. And that was the puzzle. Another puzzle. You can, you maybe you still can go into um Dollar Tree and buy these little puzzles for a buck. Happy days. Blind contour self-portrait. Just a self-portrait. Alyssa, you're trying to make us do hard stuff. What the heck? So were any of those appealing? I told you, Kai, she's a little sick. <laughs> oh, got to put the thing back together because I'd hate to wreck it at this point in the journey. All right, that was 2018. I don't know how I did this cover, but I sure do like that. It is magicals, but how did I get it to do that? Oh, you know how I, I remember how I did that. I think I was playing with magicals on really, really wet, wet paper cardstock that was probably not all that absorbent. And then I think I dropped alcohol in it to make it spread. But that's way cool. I like that. <sighs> and then it's got gauze and salt. Huh. 
Huh. Interesting cover. I haven't seen this stuff forever. Mindy won this year. So this is all stuff from Fibs, I guess. Okay, here's some useless facts. Rubber bands last longer when refrigerated. Almonds are members of the peach family. Al Capone's business card said he was a used furniture dealer. Flamingos can only only can eat when their heads are upside down. Is that true? And this must be a. Uh, this is mind mapping with Dee Dee, I guess. Oh, well, I mind map map on my own, but I bet that was a Dee Dee mind map. All right, so here is the list from 2020. Postage stamp. Apparently, we do that every year. Paint skins, a la Dee Dee. Tribute to someone. A mermaid. A favorite book. Song with meaning, ATC, yours or a fib exchange. I like it, the idea of an ATC because we may have to do another ATC swap soon. Um, a checkerboard, a brochure from your area, ruler, a vintage ad, calligraphy, use a color you dislike or is hard to use, baby Yoda. You know what? And I wrote myself a note. Finish that drawing. I wonder if I ever did finish that drawing of Baby Yoda. You're not refrigerating your rubber bands. That's okay, Flo. You don't have to. Um, a pillow tag, a dress form, a page out of a children's book. Ooh, I like that one. We may have to include that one. Um, I'm writing them down because I don't trust my memory. A tag. A tag is always good. You like a vintage ad? All right, we'll write that down. Um, a tag is always good. There's so many things you can do with a tag. We could even do a tag swap. Wrapping paper, tissue paper, foil, something out of your trash can, bubble wrap, Create a t-shirt saying, inspirational word or quote, fingernail polish, use your rubber stamps, domino, bingo card, random useless fact, upside down page. Oh, the upside down page might be good too. I don't know if you can hear Robert out there blowing, but he's managing leaves today. Um, sequins, which I had to get, I had to buy sequins. I didn't even have any. Add a pocket and insert something. Four letter words, buttons, dried flower petals, toilet paper flower, food packaging, flowers, a page of circles. Now the page of circles, I know I enjoyed that. Circles are kind of like rulers. Use a stencil, include a cartoon character, shoes, figure it out, Amazon logo, an old photo, ribbon, jigsaw puzzle, insert out of a magazine, draw an eye, hand or footprint, page of white. Oh, I was going to include that this year again. Dry cleaning tag, page of swatches, candy wrappers, money, real or pretend, vegetable or fruit stickers. Animal or an animal print. I kind of like that one. Oh, mind map of a color. That's what the mind map was doing. All right. I like the animal slash animal print. Something in the style of your favorite artist. Well, if I include that one, you guys are going to get to see me do collage because I'll have to do um, 
a collage in honor of Dee Dee. And I'm not a collage person. You like swatches too? Yeah, I like swatches. Um, where was I? Money. I know I did that one. Animal, animal print, mind map of a color. I like the idea of mind map too, just because mind mapping is so valuable to your creativity. Um, Janet doing collage. Rachel, you little turd. The reason you're looking forward to that is because you know you'll get three hours where you can just absolutely harass the hell out of me. Admit it. Just admit it right now. Um, stick figure. Create a border. I like that one. Okay. I, I knew you. that's what you were all about. Um, washi tape, paint with Q-tips, a wild card, your choice. And I probably will do a wild card again um, where you can just do anything and slap it in your book and it counts. Or you can draw a wild card. Did you get veggie stickers? Um, I do now, Dee Dee. I had some really neat ones this weekend. Ugh, wish I'd saved them. What'd CB say? Mind map of a vegetable. Oh, good idea. Mind mapping vegetable. That is a good one, CB. That's going to stretch your rubber bands that you keep in the refrigerator. A greeting card, a wanted poster, place you want to visit, a two-line poem, self-authored, finger painting, something with stitching, a bread bag tag, a bar, bar soap wrapper, fortune out of a fortune cookie, and use a napkin. So this was toilet paper flowers. I knew this one. I, I don't know if I did that on stream or not. Candy, vegetable stickers. Those things are so good, and I haven't been able to find them. Well, I don't go to Tuesday morning anymore, but you used to be able to get these salted caramel biscotti at Tuesday morning. You would prefer a map of it. Okay, Rachel, you get to do that. You get to mind map a vegetable's mind. This is stamps and a fortune cookie. These are vintage ads. Oh, feel the love socky, sock monkey. Oh, that had to be from a fib. Look at a ruler. I have rulers everywhere. I love that about me. There's my sequins that I had to buy. There's a checkerboard and dominoes. Here's a page of white. This was fun. I remember doing this and I actually did enjoy doing this one. There's bingo. Do all the little emojis. Join us for a... Oh, this was my own advertisement, I think. Join us for a tribute to flamingos in honor of Eileen Lyons. What if the hokey pokey is really what it's all about? Here's a map of Monkey Island with some money. Who wants money? Here's an Amazon logo. I probably had this in here. There's a page of sock monkeys. Here's the animal page. An advertising from Branson. I was going to draw a cat eye there, I guess. And this is my random <coughs> useless fact. Excuse me. Cats can't taste sweet because of a genetic defect. Okay, phronomophobia. Phronomophobia is the fear of thinking. <laughs> and then I wrote a note. I've met a lot of phronophobias. 
Here's some more vintage ads. Here's Mickey Mouse and shapes, circles, checkerboard. Here's some acrylic skins. Here's a page out of a comic book. This was the swatch in my stick finger figure, and I really love this page. Those are all the Prima and Jane Davenport. Dang, that's pretty. I need to finish that thing. Oh, you have a baby. Yay, Shaz. What'd you have, boy, girl? What'd they name it? You like these flowers, the toilet paper ones? They're fun. I learned to do that ages and ages ago. This was product packaging. That was when I got the Prima Currents. The chance of you dying on the way to get lottery tickets is actually greater than your chance of winning. I'm not going to get a lottery. Baby Boy Roman. Well, congratulations to each and every one of you. It's almost so much fun to have a baby. The end is near and it's all your fault. <laughs> Life is happy until the end when you pee yourself a lot. I used that one apparently. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. About time I got out of that cookie. So those were fortunes that I had collected. Some of them I used. This also is vintage ads. There's an old photo. Those That's not my family. I don't know who that is. This probably is stuff from Fibs. Who knows? I put family on there, so apparently, yeah. That's stenciling. I know that. Gift card. Dragonflies have six legs but can't walk. An ant always falls over on its right when intoxicated. I want to be the person whose job it is to sit around and get, get ants drunk and then watch which way they fall. We love him already and haven't even changed a diaper. <laughs> I would change his diaper. I love babies. Love me some babies. And then I wrote, who the hell got the ants drunk? The average American spends about 2.5 days a year looking for lost items. Okay. Artists spend about 100. Robert Vaughn spends about 363 days. But we fixed the whole garage door opener dilemma this morning. And then this is all four letter words. So that was the 2018 book. I would say I've gotten better. I mean, that's just self-promotion, but I think I've gotten better. I think my recent book is better than this one. Right? Entomologist get ants drunk, Dee Dee? Sweet. Oh, that's the current list. Okay. Let's see. This one is from, I like this cover too. This is, um, this is fun too. You know what? I may have to do this again soon. This is all trash. This entire cover is made from stuff that would have ended up in the trash. You should do a lost items page. Well, if I do a page of them, they're no longer lost. I found them. I wrote it down, but that's the crazy thing. That would create quite a dilemma because if you put it in your book, it's no longer lost. But this trash art is way fun to do too. And it's it just feels so cool. And look at more monkeys. Can you imagine that? This is 2019. Collect autographs. Now that one was a fun one. I like the autographs. I may have to write that down again. The autographs were fun. Um, 
positive phrase or quote, a page of purple, fingerprint bees. That's what all these were. Um, fruit veggie stickers. Apparently, we all like that one. A napkin. I probably will put napkin on here, too. And then if, if people don't have pretty napkins, we can do a swap or something. Um, page 11 out of any book. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> a page of gray, an ink splash or slash paint splots, scribble with a crayon or a colored pencil, draw or paint bubbles, fortune out of a fortune cookie. I may not do that this year. We've overused that. Flag from a country you want to visit, a page of food, photos, or food logos. Draw a piano keyboard, use string or ribbon, a treasure map, a page of balloons, make a tag from a greeting card, favorite rubber stamp, stickers, something from your local library, memory book from your child, a memory or book from your childhood, tissue paper, paper doll, alphabet collage. So you guys remember any of these you like and I'll write them down. An alphabet collage receipts, someone you find attractive, use a product you own but don't use often, beverage labels, foil, hide a secret message in your book. Oh, I like that one. Um, something vintage, a rainbow, pretty stationary you should use more, Pattern page, draw a butterfly, collage its wings, a page of smiles, a vine border, which is here around here, um, a business card, a restaurant logo, postage, real or created, a wanted poster, create a t-shirt saying, something that depicts perspective, create a colorful page using washi tape, candy wrappers, a watch or a clock advertisement, and everybody could just call Dee Dee and get them from her. Weave colorful paper, a page of art supply testing, product packaging, draw rows, junk mail, something you would normally throw away, page of grateful, map paper, page of colorful circles, page of flowers, origami, buttons, zentangle slash doodles, music, paw print, upside down page, labels out of clothing, use a rubber stamp you never use, include an animal, random useless fact, Piece of fib art and cheese. <laughs> okay, so this is begin each day with a grateful heart. So these are the things I was grateful for. Look at the fibs made it in there. Good health. Netflix home. I could take Netflix off because I canceled them. Lake life, art, family, true love, faith, intelligence, sunshine, trust, coffee, and books. And this is the postage page. I like this one. <clears throat> For cheese, you would have a photo of a ruler. A Greek or Roman god goddess in a short bio. All right. Greek god goddess. And a bio. And with the internet, you guys, none of this is impossible. But if we do the have 100 prompts and only have to do 90, if you come across some that you don't have the stuff for, it's just going to be too difficult. Um, you just don't do the ones you don't want to do. How about that? This was my graffiti, Cost Boss. Koss is cheese in Danish. Koss boss rules. Deja poo all over again. Roy was here. For a good time, call Boca Babe. Hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. There's the vegetable page. There's some product packaging. This time it was paintbrushes. I feel like I'm missing a page. Maybe not. Um, and underneath all that is the page that I wove. There's stuff from the Grove Library. And back then it was easy because I took Mary every Wednesday. 
There's an upside down page. This was so damn funny, this whole thing. Lena sent me a set of um, watercolors and she renamed all the colors in there. This was Judy's Golden Shower, Laugh Until You Leak, Janet's Bush, Put Pissy Pink, Mean Lean Painting Machine Jean, Roy's Blue Balls, Blame It On Eileen Ass Green, Freaking Frightening Green Frankly, Cost Boss Big Cheese, Jen's Royal Mess, Joycey's Moose Poop, and Ass Hat Dark. Uh, and it's all stuff. It's just funny. Anyway, this was um, a dryer sheet page. I don't remember reading that off, but I do know that that's a dryer sheet page. This is a flower page. Animals, I guess. I don't remember. Washi tape, purple page. I don't remember what this was, but it sure is pretty. Maybe it was swatches. And there's my piano keyboard. Here's my autographs. To a total babe, love, Sean Connery. Jordan B. Peterson. Brains and beauty, girl, you got it all. George Clooney, forever young, much love, Rod Stewart. That's the one I'd really love to have in real life. I hereby, I hereby bestow upon you the lifelong title of Janet, Princess of the Monkey Island Empire. Best wishes, Elizabeth, Queen of England. So now you all know. My real title is Princess of the Monkey Island Empire. And from now on, please address me as such. The word gorilla is derived from a Greek word meaning a tribe of hairy women. And this is a page out of something. I don't know what. Here's a map page. Letter collage. Paper doll. Pretty paper that I should use more. A ribbon. A button. Label out of clothing. I bought this stencil from Z. I don't remember what I created the texture with, but it is on a dryer sheet. It's crazy to think back at some of this. This is all receipts. Some Oh, this is something from Didi. For your Mary. That had to be on something else. She didn't send Mary this Barnum and Bailey thing. There's something that should have gone in the trash. Candy. Another dryer sheet. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Makona. Australian coffee. Australian instant coffee is delicious. Here's another tag. If called by a panther, don't answer. That's the origami page. There's a Coca-Cola ad. Hmm. A wove page. A page of colorful circles. Look at that. I love that. Uh, I might have to do that again. See you, Chris. Have a good class today. That's the flag from a country I want to visit. It is Norway's flag. I think. Um, tissue paper. Comic book map. Oh, and then I wrote in here. Fib art removed. I must have used it for this and then I wanted to keep it somewhere else. All right. So there you go. I'm not going to show. I, there, I think there's one more, but I don't remember which ones I've shown and which ones I haven't. So did any of those prompts. You like the copy page? All right. Let's count how many we've got or just I'll come up with a 
close number. Oh no, it stuck to my washi tape. No. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 31, so just say about, we got about 62 already. So is there any that you guys thought of that I need to add? <clears throat> A drawing of something on your art desk. I like that. Okay, anybody else? Yeah, she could draw one of the clouds, right, Rachel? All right, let me put this back into the 2022 book. Doodles with a ruler. I might just put in there, use a ruler. Did we already put copy page? For me, that's almost a must. Focus, you freak gonna have a sip of coffee real quick something from the trash that actually is always a good prompt well this sure got me started anyway ink splatters I like that one old photograph childhood I mean least favorite subject okay I'm going to put favorite or least favorite. I'm trying to think what would be my least favorite school subject. A night picture. Hmm. Can it be a, let's just put photo or drawing. Um, yeah, in the past, what I've done is put together the whole list and then make it available on um, Google Docs. So I just put a link into the chat or on the community page or whatever, and then you can go to the Google Doc and print it out um, or handwrite it, whatever, if you don't have a printer. I did not take Latin. But you know what? Now that you said that, my least favorite subject, I would have to say, is Spanish. I, I hated Spanish. Partly, the teacher <laughs> was such a pain in the ass, and I wasn't good at it. Even though every time I leave you guys, I say, adios, amigos. And she would have find fault with that. You like the tea bag idea? I'll put tea bag slash tea packaging. And one of the things that I've always enjoyed is methods of combining multiple prompts and I've always thought and if you guys can think of a way where I wouldn't mind doing a second giveaway um, for somebody who has combined several prompts into one page and made it cohesive I mean I can slap a bunch of junk on a page but when you can make the page cohesive with multiple prompts I think you ought to get an attaboy or a gift or something for that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, I have coffee page 
I could combine those two, coffee or tea. Yeah, we could do that. Um, have I missed anything else? Favorite adult beverage. Oh. My favorite adult beverage is still going to be coffee. Ink splatters, old photograph. Did I put that down? I didn't, but I like the idea. Old photo or childhood. Okay. Um, did I put down something from out of the trash? I did, so I think I'm caught up. All right, just looking back in chat to see if I'd missed anything. You like the idea of a dryer sheet? The dryer sheet idea actually was not bad at all. Because they're fun to dye. And... All right. A tag. I did not write down tag. I don't think. And if I have any... Um... Oh, I do have tag. Um... If I have duplicates, um, I will edit this before I, um, rice paper. Well, Julie, the thing about that, and I try and keep this where people don't have to spend money. And this year, I wouldn't mind adding things that are outside your home. During COVID, I tried to be really careful about, um, keeping it to stuff that people would more than likely have on hand and not have to buy. And see, um, all right, Dee Dee, that's cool. I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you later. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave rice paper off just because I don't want people, especially in these economic times, to have to buy something to complete these tasks. That's, um, I suppose we could do faux um, rice paper. But I would say um, include rice paper in any of your pages. I mean, make them as pretty as you can. Um, another thing that I kind of like, and it's it's as much to get you guys interacting with each other as anything, is um, some fib art. And in the past, um, I've been willing to anybody who, you know, didn't know another fib to to swap with or something that I would willingly do fib art, you know, swap out fib art, fib art with somebody. So, um, yeah, you can't draw rice paper. So yeah, I'm not going to be specific about stuff like that. Um, like I don't mind doing use your favorite product. And if rice paper is one of your favorites, use it then. Um, but yeah, let everybody decide, um, what would, I don't know. I don't think I have favorite product on here, but I think I will include it. See, and that would be tough for me because how do you identify what your favorite product is? I have no clue. I mean, for some people it might be trash, honestly. Like making trash art is pretty much what they're all about. And they get really good at it. So, um, bet we get something with a fountain pen and ink. That could be, Rachel. Could be. There you go. Grains of rice on a piece of paper. I like that idea. All right. So, if you guys, I'm going to go ahead and keep this whole list going from now until the day I publish it. Um, if you think of something else that most people would have and it would be fun turning into a piece of art for your um <clears throat> scavenger hunt book um you can contact me on instagram um direct message me or wait until i stream and scream it out in chat and hopefully i'll catch it 
and um, yeah. But this will be an ongoing project until New Year's Eve, creating the list. Well, Janet, it's always hard to determine how many pages you need because let's say there's 100 prompts. I figure I'm going to try and get multiple prompts on one page. So let me just see. I'll just give you an idea what I had last year. And I like the layout I did last year with the square spine so that the books don't get so rounded. But look how chunky they get. They get really, really chunky. So let's see how many pages I ended up with. And let's see, there's two, four. There were five signatures in here, but I don't know if they all had the same number of pages. Okay, this had, has 28 pages in it, um, which means 14 sheets folded in half. Um, so, yeah, what about something on mushrooms? You want me to put mushrooms on there? Which does not mean go out and take mushrooms, you goofs. Mushrooms could be fun, though. Um yeah, I'll add mushrooms, Dorothy, because, yeah, that could be a fun drawing. It could be um, washi tape. It could be out of a magazine. So they do not have to be any certain size. Honestly, Janet, there are no rules. I make no rules. You can um, get a box and shove it all in for all I care. Um, the only rule about the scavenger hunt is have fun. That's it. And push yourself. I mean, I, I want you to do, try things, do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. Mine have always been an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet folded in half. That's just the size I use. It's e an easy size to complete. You don't feel overwhelmed by your crazy sheet size. And then I use like, I usually use pattern paper. No, and at the end, you don't have to send anything to me. At the, um, I give you until April 1st to finish it. And then anybody who's finished, in this case, it'll be 90 prompts, notifies me and I put you on a list. And April 1st, or whatever stream is the first one after April 1st, I put all those numbers into a drawing and whoever, um, whoever's number I draw gets a fairly nice gift. Last year it was a nice gift. One year I did a thing of watercolors and the winner didn't want it, so I ended up giving him a gift certificate. So, yeah, bazooka. <laughs> So if y'all think of anything or if you have any questions, um, yeah, go ahead and either private message me on IG. It starts January 1st, Janet. I will be streaming um, on the streamathon that Mary Atier is hosting again this year, apparently. I'm going to do the midnight, if it's still available, and Mary lets me, I will be streaming the um, Central Time Zone um, stream. And that's when I go ahead and do the whole announcement. We have the list put together. And I generally make the cover of the book that night. And if I already have the cover made, then I'll probably just do a page or something. 
So this is all just getting ready. And so all those things we talked about today, if you come across them between now and then, um, go ahead and start saving now. There is no cheating and there is no rules. Have fun. And, and think outside the box is pretty much what I want you to do. So anyway, I showed this book a couple months ago and I've read a little bit out of it, but I've done nothing. I haven't drawn any of the pictures or done anything out of it. But it is a very cool little book. It's called Sketching Stuff, Stories Sketched from Life, written and illustrated by Charlie O'Shield. And I think until I get through this, they're short little chapters. I'm going to go ahead and read you out of this book and show you his illustrations. And um, I may or may not do a draw my day from that um, particular stream. But I am going to try in the beast. And most of you have been here a long time. This is the beast. It's really my calendar where I keep all the information about everything. I write down things I have to remember. Here's a month. I didn't put birthdays in. Let me see. October was a good month. October this year was a good month. Okay. Um, I put birthdays in here, holidays in here, things that are going on in life. And then every day I have a space where I can draw. I can write down whatever I want to put in the beast. So this... I've had this style beast for several years, only next year I'm changing it, and I'm having a little bit of anxiety, so you're just going to have to put up with it. So um, I really liked the October beast where I did the Zentangles from the Inktober and then drew the Alpha Tunes little creatures on there, and I have not given them all snark yet, but I will. Um... So I thought this month what I'm going to try and do is every day I'm going to try and look at how pitiful this is. I've written notes on the days, but I've done nothing in here yet. So here we are on November 7th. I need to pay my bills, <laughs> pay the bills. But I'm going to read the first chapter out of here and then I'm going to do draw your day. And then I'm going to try and do this every day in November. Y'all can question me about how successful I'm being. But this is really an interesting little book, so I probably will read you a whole thing. He starts out and says, Every story has a beginning, but when you call it an introduction, people tend to skip that bit. So please read on, as this first section is truly the best place to start. And it's titled Once Upon a Time. You have to go pay a bill today? Yeah, I need to pay all the bills today. The first one's not due until tomorrow. There once was a little boy who had a seemingly limitless imagination on a quest for knowledge. Every trip he would take with his mother would turn into a field trip and an opportunity to discover new things, even if it was just a visit to the local library. Years would pass and this boy would grow up as boys are prone to do, but that spirit never died. Yep, I'm that little boy, both then and now. I still yearn for knowledge and experiences that let me discover new things. I still happily question the world around me and never simply accept what I'm told as fact. I've always loved making things, but for many years, my various jobs along the way took precedence in my life. Isn't that true of all of us? I was so focused on doing a good job that I didn't often take the time to be a good to myself, to let myself play a little bit and enjoy life as I used to in the past. When I started sketching and painting in July of 2015, I felt like that kid again for the first time in years. And rather than approach my new discovery as an adult would, I just kept letting that little boy guide me through each step. Why am I telling you all of this? Well, I've learned that my approach was the often missing ingredient to many of the things I've attempted in my life. I've tried a thousand different things, but m many simply faded like a fad, never to be attempted again. Yet for over three years now, I've dutifully shown up to sketch and write every single day. My writing consists of musing, musings on everyday life more than specific art techniques. All of the best techniques in the world won't help us become better 
at something if we don't do it on a regular basis. It's the doing that helps us improve each day and feel great about ourselves in the process. Okay, some days are better than others, but the collection of days spent pursuing a passion always crea creates a sense of joy in the end. This book is a jumble of stories about my own life, thoughts on fads and trends and other perfectly random things that pop to mind, or so it might seem. In truth, everything I talk about has a very simple common thing meant to inspire the creativity in all of us. Love life and everything you choose to do while living it. That's really it. It's what that little boy taught me. He didn't feel constrained with rules and expectations, or if he did, he could ignore them easily enough and go right on playing. That's the spirit we need if we want to become truly creative people. I've heard it said that creativity loves constraints because it's how you know when you've broken through the norm and discovered something totally new. Though most books have a rule about starting at the beginning and working your way forward, this book is free from those constraints. You can read these stories in any order that you choose. Pick one at random on a day when you feel a bit down on yourself or think your self-creative light is starting to dim. Hopefully these stories will remind you of all that's good in the world and make the rest of your day positive or ensure you have lovely dreams. And there's really nothing better in the world than a good dream. And then he just drew some little bit of Legos. And I guess when I read that, I think I, I think that's what we're all striving for all the time, right? Um, and it's why we endeavor to try something new or get better at something new. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just start reading this, this book so that we have that little bit of joy or that little bit of reminder that don't let yourself tell yourself that you're not good at something or I can't do that. I think you just have to let yourself do it. Like his little drawing here of these Legos. It's not a great drawing, quite frankly. The perspective is not entirely right. The lines aren't parallel. I mean, I, I could critique this to death. But the fact that he sat down and did it and was willing to publish it, to me, says a lot. And so I'm going to endeavor to do that the whole month of November. And hopefully I'm going to create a habit that Inktober tries to teach us. Right. And I love Inktober and I did it religiously. And now that it's gone, I miss it. So now what I'm going to do is just try every day in November and hopefully beyond like the beast started out to be to just draw something every day from my life. So and I will continue to read out of this book so that when we're done, you guys will have read a, read a book that you didn't even buy. And I don't think the author would mind me doing it because chances are very good that his attitude is. Um, he wants us all to be better, right? I think so too. When we stretch ourselves, we succeed. And the mistake that 99.9% .9 of us make is we judge ourselves, right? That, oh, mine's not as good as Dee Dee's. Well, get it in your head right now. You're never going to be as good as Dee Dee because she's got 30 years in. If you've only got a week in, that's what your stuff's going to look like. But the truth of the matter is, you did it. Pat yourself on the back for having done it. So I'm going to draw today, just like a draw your day. Um, and don't think that you have to draw out of your head. Because if you do that, you are absolutely, positively setting yourself up for failure. None of us have photographic memories. And we're not going to, oh, well, how does this happen? Um, we're not going to be able to draw from memory because we don't have photographic memories. So if I have, let me, I had a little list here, but I don't know where it went to, so I'll recreate it. But if I had to draw something out of my day today, because it's fall in Oklahoma, um, and y'all heard Robert out there. Um, 
blowing and mulching up leaves. Um, I would say for today, one thing I want to draw is an oak leaf. And the oak leaves in my yard are shaped much like this. So, and it's windy here today. So I'm going to have to do something to depict wind. And where is my pen? Um, I wrote myself a note about paying the bills. So I'm going to take that out and write it over here. Because this afternoon, or tonight, I'm going to catch up the beast because having company and everything. So don't judge yourself. And so far, we've had a beautiful fall. Um, I don't think the colors probably have been as awesome as they might have been, but oh well. And when you're drawing, don't be afraid to use a, uh, well, a ruler for sure, but an eraser. You know, nobody's going to draw something perfect. Except Dee Dee. God, she can really draw perfect. Okay. Not perfect, but it's mine. Okay, let me read chat. Hi, Kathy Arbor. Exactly. It's an act of bravery and vulnerability to publish your art and open yourself up to criticism. Yeah, but one nice thing I will say about this community is I don't think this community is inclined to criticize anything that any of us do because... Um, I guess because we're all kind of on the same journey and we've all been where somebody else is. Some of us are better. Some of us are worse. But as long as we're all striving, then we're going to be supportive. And that's the beauty of this community. So there's my oak leaf. And I know oak leaves come in a lot of different shapes. So if they don't look like your oak leaves, it's because that's the one that is out in my front yard. The sycamore leaves, oh my God, you guys, this sycamore tree out back of mine. We've um, cut the top out of that tree and it did make the leaves a little bit smaller, but the leaves off of, and I just pulled this in so you can't see, but the leaves on my sycamore tree are literally the size of a dinner plate. <clears throat> Um, I'm looking for that thing because there was something else I wanted to draw, but I can't remember now what it was. All right. Well, one thing I'm going to do since I got this awesome, if you guys didn't see, weren't here when I opened up my box from Dee Dee for my birthday. And my birthday is next Monday and I will be streaming on my birthday. So um, make sure you have cake in your house so you can eat cake on my birthday. Okay. Oh, I hate that that glue is on there. That's okay. But just because I want to try these little stencils, I'm going to stencil. On my brand new awesome birthday ruler. This will be hanging on my wall. I read this somewhere. You should be willing to fail in order to learn and discover. It, that is so true, Kathy. There's nobody who has ever succeeded that hasn't failed first. Oh, in your community, but the World Wide Web. Yeah, you know what, though? Like, But like on Instagram, 
I have a bunch of people who follow me, um, don't know who they are or, or their name is not what I recognize from here, whatever. Um, I've never really had much criticism ever from anybody. I think, but now Instagram for me is, I don't want to say strictly, but almost strictly um, art. I don't really do anything else on Instagram other than share art and look at other people's art. But yeah, the World Wide Web can be a pretty vicious place. But I think you can shield yourself from that too. If somebody wrote something rude and obnoxious on my Instagram page, I'd just get rid of them. I don't have a problem using block, mute, remove your dumbass self. I don't have a problem with any of that. Look at the little things. So, yeah, Dee Dee was good enough to send this to me for my birthday. <clears throat> and the reason I decided to do the oak leaf is because it's something pretty simple that any one of us could do. So, do it. And not necessarily draw. Maybe not everybody wants to draw. Drawing is probably my favorite thing, though. I like watercolor. I like doodling. I like Zentangle. Um, but drawing is still, I think, my absolute favorite thing to do. Partly because you can do it anywhere. Like, all it takes is a pencil and a sheet of paper, and you're good to go. This one is hard to get this nib in, so I'm going to have to draw in the extras. No big deal. I'll just do the numbers down here. But rather than do one, two, three, I'll do like six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to use the hell out of these numbers. I think I'm going to use them for my new beast come the new year. I don't know. Rubber stamps is so easy, and I try and get the beast set up in about an hour max. Dividing the pages, putting the color on, yeah, all of it. One thing, the reason I'm changing beasts is it's time to just try something new. And I want to use paper that is a little more art product friendly. This is just crap 20 pound paper. And so it's hard for me to watercolor on. Um, a lot of pens and products bleed through. So I'm going to try and find friendlier paper. Um, you just posted a Christmas needle felted brooch I made on Instagram. Oh, cool, Dorothy. Um, I will take a look at it after I am done streaming. But yeah, you'll see when I watercolor this, that this paper is really not watercolor friendly. Not that it's been terrible. And it doesn't even warp that much, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try something different. And I know it's going to make me anxious, but I'm going to do it anyway.
And tomorrow night, isn't it tomorrow night is the blood moon? Did I read that correctly? The last eclipse until 2025 or something I read. It was like, what the heck? I wish I hadn't lost that piece of paper. I'm just going to look under some of this stuff. If you could see this room right now, you'd just be going, oh, you poor thing. Just because mostly because scavenger hunt books are piled up everywhere. How can I lose everything? Oh, and then for you, those of you who came in late, let me show you quickly. Didi didn't send me just the ruler. Didi also sent me a pad of, I'm sure it's handmade paper. Let me read what it said. Um, handmade leather journal. So I'm sure the, um, all of it is handmade. And it's a Lewis Carroll journal. And when she sent me this paperweight Alice in Wonderland paperweight. Isn't that awesome? It might, the camera's probably a little too close up. So isn't that cool? So I definitely will be using it. Where do I find you on IG? Me? Did you finally get an IG account, Rachel? Rachel is going to enter the 20th century kicking fighting, screaming. Um, but if you're looking for me on IG, just look up Janet M. Young. And there's two accounts. Somebody, um, hacked my name, but the one they use has an underscore on it. And I found my paper and I'm going to cut some of this out to add in my journal too. Which one do I want to add? <laughs> oh, it's so hard to decide. Look at that one. That's This one here reminds me of me, Rachel screaming and whining. That'll be the one I use. Oh, okay, Dorothy. Rachel, you need to get an IG account. It's not like it's hard to do, you know. You're missing out, Rachel, honestly, by not being on IG. Because we hang out with some incredibly talented fibs. Not to mention, you would get to see all of Kathy Arbor's awesome flowers. <clears throat> and you can be really selective about um, who you follow, what content goes on to the page. My birthday is next Monday, November 14th. It's a special day. Very, very special day. Okay, I'm just cutting this little guy out. And I'll glue him in later, but I'll show you where he's going to go in the beast. And then I'll probably have to come back and read chat and write in something stupid Rachel said. And whenever I glue something into the beast, I use um, that Yamamoto glue. All right. Okay. He will probably, because yesterday the kids were here and all we really did was sit and drink coffee 
and yak all day. Well, Saturday and Sunday. So he'll probably take up that day. Yours is November 24th, 10 days apart. Woohoo. Um, a lot of you may not remember Glenda Hoagland. She has my birthday. And Devin's husband has my birthday as well. Thanks, you guys. All right, and the other thing I was going to draw, and I don't necessarily need a picture of this one, but I'm going to look it up anyway. I want acorn images. Um, we live on a hill, and my driveway is uphill. And when the acorns start falling, um, my driveway is like um, walking on marbles. I didn't mean to draw that leaf so big, but now it's drawn, so who cares? But yeah, my um, my driveway is getting quite dangerous. I hate for people to even walk down it. Robert has to blow it every day because it really, really does get dangerous. Oh, and I was going to draw a donut, too. I had a cinnamon, I think it was called a cinnamon spice donut this morning. Holy crap, was it good. Yep, the squirrels are especially bad about digging up your yard and planting them. And then in the spring, you get to go around um, pulling up all the acorn trees, or all the acorn trees, all the oak trees from where the squirrels put them in your yard. APG Jamie told me one year she digs up a million of them. And so I had to outdo her and said, I dig up a million and a half. Because if you ever let one grow, yeah, you'll spend the rest of your life trying to get rid of it. But the tree is so gorgeous, you guys. I would, Well, I should go out now that the house is all painted. I should go out and take a picture of the paint job. And then so you guys can see the most amazing oak tree that's out in front of my house. Most beautiful tree. The guy who put my roof on probably close to 20 years ago now said he would have put the roof on for free if I could have traded that maple tree. You have that, well, Kathy, I have black walnut. I have two black walnut trees, and they are so horrible. Ah, uh, because when they fall, they have a, um, I guess you'd call it a husk, that, and they look like a green apple. And then they fall to the ground, and for a few weeks after they've fallen, that hull with moisture rots and that's where you get the black walnut stain the other day i walked out in my backyard where one of the walnut trees is with just my socks on the bottom my the heel of my foot still is stained from the black walnut it will be there at christmas time i promise you But I've gotten rid of almost all my walnut trees because for that very reason alone, like it, it stains everything it touches. And if the squirrels or whoever don't haul off the nuts and they get stomped down or buried in the yard, you're, it'll keep your grass from growing. And they're big, like they're this big after the hauls come off. 
it does make great ink, but you know what? I'll buy the ink pre-made. I am not messing with that. All right, let's um just slap some. I'm just going to grab um, some. The one on top. I don't even. It's the Mission Gold, I think. Yep, Mission Gold. We'll just quickly use a water brush and the Mission Gold watercolors. And because this paper is such crap, it's not like I can do great wet on wet techniques. Um, that's true, Kathy. In fact, um, oh God, what's got Jerry? There's a guy who um, puts out books, Jerry Baker. Um, and he says, if you have a place in your yard that won't grow well, um, rather than adding fertilizer or whatever like that, dig down. Because there's something, if the rest of your yard is growing well, and you have a piece that is not, dig down. And so I had a place out by my well house that I couldn't grow grass to save me. I was putting fertilizer. I was putting seed out. I was trying to get that crap to grow all the time. And um, so what I had read in his book, don't add stuff to the surface. Dig down. Find out what is preventing the grass from growing. And my neighbor on the other side had a black walnut tree there and sure enough when I dug down I must have found and it had to be a divot in the yard where all the walnuts were collecting I must have found 30 years worth of walnuts down underneath there and it takes them forever and a day to rot Right. So they just collected up, collected up, collected up and um, dug them all out. Like I'm when I say 30 years, I'm not kidding you guys. It was so horrible. But after I got them all dug up and hauled off. Next year, I had beautiful grass there. Jerry Baker, he's he's an interesting guy. He talks about things that you have around your house to help with your gardening. Have you ever heard of him, Kathy Arbor? Because he really is an interesting guy. And when it came to those um, walnuts, he was absolutely right. Don't do surface, dig down. And this year the the leaves didn't get a lot of color. I don't know why. So they when they're falling now, they're um, primarily um, this guy's color. Well, Kathy, you may know as much as him, but he tells you like how to use Epsom salts to do this or this, or how to change the acidity, and just interesting, interesting guy. but he was sure right about those walnuts. The other trees that I got rid of that were just making it impossible to um, grow anything in the yard was the um, cedar trees. Cedar trees are so, make your um, dirt so acidic. I'm not sure that you could um, add enough lime. <laughs> so I had two cedar trees that I went ahead and dug up because the erosion underneath them was so bad. Plus they, um, attract grubs. So, um, the armadillos would come and dig underneath the trees to get the grubs and then because nothing else would grow there the erosion was horrible it was just like you know what I'm not gonna spend a lifetime fighting 
what these what this cedar tree is doing to my yard and the people who i bought the house from had never obviously they didn't give a crap <coughs> i like the yard to look like a golf course and robert's done a great job doing that see how hard it is to paint on this paper but it's okay And even if the paper um, wrinkles a little bit, after you close the book and a few days later, it becomes unwrinkled really good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hang on, got to get... And I'm not always going to watercolor, I don't think. I'm going to do some graphite drawings, some ink and watercolor. I'm just going to do whatever I want to do on any given day. But I'm going to try and make myself do it every day. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've got a tickle in my throat. From running my mouth too much. Now we'll take some little red brown because never are these leaves really perfect. They've always got some marks on them. Yeah, pretty much, Flo. I'm going to pretty much do whatever it is I want to do. Normal. Normal. probably go back in with a white pen later and put this um, seam down the middle or the vein, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> All right, I'll read chat. Walnuts and acorns everywhere, yeah. Oh, I made a mess down here. I must have got my arm in the paint. Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why I start over there knowing I'm going to put my hand in it. Goofball. Do all the little bugs in different colors. I wonder why whoever designed that um, ruler decided that 
insects was a good thing to stencil on there. Because they could have just done shapes like hearts and squares and whatever. <clears throat> I probably am not going to be able to get to the detail on this today, but oh well. I'll show the beast unless I fail at my project, in which case I won't show the beast. Now I'll tell you guys if I do it or if I don't. I'm going to try though. And with like, I don't have any more company coming for a while. Um, I think Robert and I are going to be here alone for Thanksgiving, which is fine. But I don't have any upcoming projects that should prevent me from doing what I want to do. And I don't do Christmas shopping. I write checks. So I won't have to mess with that. And I'm not going to go out in the crowds. I, well, I, I assume there will be crowds Christmas shopping. I hope that people can do a lot of shopping. I think it's going to be a pretty lean Christmas for a lot of people. Apparently the 8th of November will have some brown on it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, one thing I can do when I'm done, Rachel, is wet that and take a Mr. Clean Eraser. I'll show you guys. Take a Mr. Clean Eraser and probably get that all off. <clears throat> if I want it off. But something like that, that wouldn't even bother me if it just stayed there either. But yeah, I obviously got my sleeve in it. Duh. I do that pretty frequently, <laughs> which tells me I don't learn from my own mistakes. Yeah, nothing new there. Don't know why nose started running. I love to try. Yeah, see, Rachel, that that's probably what I would end up doing is just trying to incorporate it into whatever I do on that next page. That's fine with me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know if you guys have a water brush like this. I Let's see. It's a Bria Reese. It sucks up the paint. So the next color you go to use, you always have some remnants of the color you just used. That's kind of annoying. Not a fan. But I picked it because it was the only one here that had any water in it. Oh, now I just got green in the raw sienna that I wanted to use. Oh, well. <clears throat> I forgot a little bug there. You what? Oh, I'm talking to the... Oh. peeps in chat Let me 
the dark. What a difference. Oh, this bad boy needs to be washed really, really good. And this is just the highlight color. I'll go over it with a dark color. And look at, I'm flirting with danger right here. Not letting that dry before I go up to it. But I know I only got a couple minutes left, so... Get right there in the six. And probably for those numbers, um, I think I'll probably just use markers. Paint that other little bug. We'll do it. Uh, let's do it purple. Again, flirting with danger, painting right up next to wet paint. Remember when I said just a few minutes ago I don't learn from my mistakes? Here's proof. Better than I expected. All right. Got to read chat, and then my time is almost up. But you'll see this finished here in a few weeks, or next week. You have planted all your family Christmas presents. Amaryllis bulbs. Oh, I love amaryllis plants. They're so pretty. All right, you guys. Probably not going to get this done on stream. I know I'm not because it's 2.58. My three hours are up. You want me to see if I can get that brown out, Rachel? Let's give it a go and see how well we do. Of course, doing this, you're going to leave a mark on the page. Mr. Clean Erasers are flipping magic. They're up there. I don't care. I'm going to leave it. There might be a hint of color there, but easy to go over and get rid of completely. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks so much for helping me build the, um, or start the scavenger hunt list. Um, <clears throat> we'll keep working on it. Um, Y'all go have a really, really good afternoon. And I will see you at Dee Dee's for sure on Thursday. And um, see you next week here. In time to sing me happy birthday. Hi, Joan Bell. <laughs>
All right, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you around the interwebs. God bless us all. And, Rachel, I did see that you put a prayer in earlier, and I thank you for that. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Janet, Wednesday, not Thursday. Yeah, I'll see you at DD's on Wednesday. Did I say Thursday? Oh, my God. Somebody needs to get me some help. All right, you guys. Love you. See you. Bye. Adios, Amigos.